Wow, that is good. Mark's got to eat. Hey, what are you having for the Super Bowl today? I cannot watch a football game, especially the Super Bowl, without having wings. And today, we're going to one of the best places in Atlanta for wings, Taco Mac. They started in Virginia Highlands back in 1979 when a couple of college kids were passing through Atlanta and decided, why not? And so they bought what was an old taco place and they had, didn't have much money, so they had to decide, do I upgrade the kitchen or do I change the sign out front? So they left the sign and upgraded the kitchen and Taco Mac was born. That was a long time ago, uh, but obviously it's grown and it is the weirdest name for a wing place that I've ever heard, but it is good. And of course, hoping that we get a good game today, not a lopsided game. I don't know about you, I don't have a horse in this race, so I'm not really pro or con on who wins, but I sure don't like a lopsided game. That's just hard to watch. So are you having friends over today? Or are you scurrying around to clean the house and hide the stuff under the sofa? Or are you actually at the game? I doubt it. Here's your house tip for the Super Bowl preparation. I had a friend that had a lot of mess in the house. So he used his leaf blower to blow everything into a corner and then under the sofa. Functionally it works, but it's a horrible idea. Do you have any secret party tips? Tell us down below. Here we are. And actually, if you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe because the more subscribers we get, the sponsoring becomes more uh, available. And one day I can maybe purchase something like this. Just kidding, but I do hope you like the videos. Come on, let's go inside and get some wings. Table for two, me and you. Lots of TVs here. Did y'all see the menu? Would you like to? This is the weirdest logo, a buffalo with wings. And it is actually very memorable and very cool. Some of you have said you wanted to see a longer look at the menu, so we'll try to do that for you this video. So on the buffalo wings, they call them classic wings, uh, but you can get them with different levels of heat. Um, and then they have spicy wings over here, which also have different levels of heat, but they're, they're a little more spicy. Um, and then they have sweet and savory. Uh, but my go-to, the classic wing, mild, with sauce on the side, and celery and blue cheese. So I'm gonna do 20, just 20 wings with celery and blue cheese. Okay. And if you don't mind, can you um, add an extra blue cheese? Yeah. Because that's one of the things y'all do really well here is your own blue cheese dressing. Um, I'm gonna split them between uh, the lemon pepper, like maybe, does it matter how I split them? Like can I, if they're 20, can I do like five of these and five? Yeah, okay. Five. okay, let me do five lemon pepper and let me do uh, five of the, um, it was, oh man, I think it was like, a, did you used to have like a Korean garlic something or another? We did. We uh, but don't do that. got rid of that one. Okay. Was it? Were there complaints? There wasn't really complaints. It just wasn't really being ordered a whole lot. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then let me try uh, the chili mango. Five chili mangoes, five lemon peppers, and five classics. Oh, sorry, 10 classes. Yeah. You just want them plain? Yeah, yeah, plain, a uh, sauce on the side. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and celery and blue cheese. So the first time I had wings, I, I have to tell you this because it was one of those memorable life experiences. I was staying in a hotel, I was in New York, and it was uh, off the interstate. And the bottom floor of the hotel was a bowling alley. There were like 40 lanes, which makes sense because when you're snowed in up there, 
what are you going to do? So guests would go down to the bowling alleys and I had a day off and I did that. I went down and I bowled some and they had massive arcade games. They had every ballet and Williams machine there. It was fun. I was beside myself enjoying the day and then I went over to the food bar and I saw this thing called wings, buffalo wings. And I thought, hmm, maybe. I'm not a real red hot spice kind of guy, but it looked good. So then I saw the side was celery with blue cheese. So I thought, hey, a vegetable or a fruit or whatever you call it, let's go for it. So I watched them, I heard them dip, you know, they dumped the wings into this basket and pssst, the sizzle. And then they came out a few minutes later, popping and dripping with oil. They dumped them in a massive salad bowl, steel bowl, dumped some sauce in, started tossing them around. This was before I knew I liked the classic model. They're swishing them around and everything, and then they dump them on the plate, they throw the celery and blue cheese out, they bring it over to me, and I pick it up and go, wow, and I put it down, because it doesn't take me long to look at a flaming hot wing that just came out of hot grease and oil. Then I picked it up a minute or two later and bit into it and my lips were on fire because <laughs> the sauce was so dang hot. So there were no fries, it was just the celery and the blue cheese and man, I tore into it and it was wonderful. So I made one adjustment and that was the next time I ordered them. I, I got the sauce on the side and I've been in love with them ever since. And when I got to Atlanta, this probably for me, this was I think around 77. And then lo and behold, Taco Max started down here around 79. And when I went there, they were the closest thing to the same experience I had had in New York with Buffalo Wings. And I've been a fan ever since. So if I'm at a Super Bowl party and I know the wings are good, I would kind of expect them to have chips and salsa maybe onion dip, French onion dip. That's a go-to for me. I like that a lot. Ah, corn chips are an interesting thing because they're all different types, thick, thin, hot, not hot. The little scoops, you know, the uh, and then the little restaurant style, which, which are thin and they break off. You ever get embarrassed at a party when your chip breaks into the dip, into the salsa, because the salsa is real meaty, chunky, and your chip is real, it's a weenie chip and it breaks off. My producer says, don't say weenie chip, cut the weenie chip. But we all know what I'm talking about, weenie chip. <laughs> then what do you do when it breaks off in the chunky stuff? Do you reach in with your fingers and, or do you do the subtle thing where you grab another chip and feel like you're going to rescue the chip from the salsa? And then what happens? It's a weenie chip. It breaks off right in there. Now you got two chips drifting and the salsa that other people are trying to get to. So then you just kind of move away from it and have a sip of your drink and talk about other stuff with other people and hope that no one knows you're, the, you're that guy that broke the chips off into the dip or the salsa. Well, now that you know what I love to eat for the Super Bowl, I'm curious what you eat for the Super Bowl. So we got people watching from all over the country. Is there one thing more popular than another in different places? Oh man, that was quick. Thank you, thank you. Yum, yum. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Perfect. Do you need anything else right now? Does that look good? I, I think I'm good. Right. It does look good. Yeah, Perfect. thanks. You enjoy. Thank you. All right, check that out. It's wing time, baby. No sauce on the side, but we'll just taste them as they are. Wing kickoff commences now. God, it just came out of the fryer, they're really hot. Pardon me. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. I like the flats more than the uh, drumettes, but I got a mix of both. They're good. Mm. They make their own blue cheese dressing and it's really good different. Really, really good. They must use good cheese. Wow. I wonder why there's no red cheese dressing. It's all on the moon. The 
red cheese is in the moon. But they never tell you that until you step out of the space capsule. What? 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 Chicken butt. Oh, it, it it did. I was going to ask you about the side of uh, the medium sauce. Side of medium? Yeah, yeah, just, okay. just one is good. No right, thank you. And they're delicious. Really good. Who do you think is going to win today? It's like a one and a half point spread. I think it's a toss up. If everybody stays healthy, I'm calling it for the Chiefs. I think I know why wings became a football food, because when your whole family's eating them, nobody can touch the remote. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Yay. Sauce. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's get sauce at. First of all, let's see how hot that is. That's a great combination. It's got flavor. It's not just hot. I, it kills me when people order good food and just throw hot sauce on it, and then you can't taste any of the flavor. Here we go with the drumette. Mmm. Ooh. I have to tell y'all, I'm starving, so I'm really glad to have these. Mm. Um, oh, so I was watching a guy recently who said that we lose all sense of perspective of just how good and talented these players are and how big, strong, and fast they are, too. And his idea was, why not, instead of the halftime where they throw the footballs in the bucket, why not draw three names out of the stands and require them to suit up and play on the teams as part of the regular thing so that we could contrast a normal person versus the athletes on the field. I think it would be catastrophic, but very enlightening. Anybody watching the Puppy Bowl? Trying one of these. What is that? I think this must be the lemon pepper, let's see. Yeah, lemon pepper. Really good, the lemon is kind of tart and the pepper is kind of not tart it's a good counterbalance really good though that is a good lemon pepper wing and the drumettes are meaty it's really good mmm there's crunch Mm. This is the uh, the sweet pot. I forget what it was. Remember what it was? It was like the Asian spicy hot. Anyway, it's good. Almost tastes like barbecued, like Lay's barbecued potato chips on the outside of the wing. Very, very good. Oh yeah, these are so good. What what's the which what's the name of those again? Those are the chili mangoes. Chili mangoes. Those are definitely my favorite too. They are really good. Yeah. So chili mango. Very very good. She works Saturdays. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, very chilly-ish, very mango-ish. Hey, here's a question for you. Do you have any favorite football movies? I was thinking about the Eagles, and of course, Invincible was a great, true, based on a true story of uh, a bartender that tried out when he was 29 or 30 and actually made the Eagles team, played for a couple of seasons. It was a great story, good feel-good story. Do you have any favorite football stories, football movies? 
A lot of people mention Brian's song. They like that one a lot. It's a real heart tugger, again, based on a true story. And then uh, remember the tight ends because it's such a vital position on the team. They don't get the respect they deserve. It's a hard position to play. And they made a movie about it. And I never really watched the whole movie, so I'm not sure if I'm getting this right, but it basically was a powerful story about the tight ends. Very moving. All right. This is so good. Now it's starting to heat me up. My producer made me eat the hot sauce. <laughs> I think I've done all the damage I can do here. I'm gonna pack it up, take it home, enjoy it with my family. I hope your team wins. And if you don't have a favorite team, I hope you enjoy the snacks and the party. And remember this, life is short, so enjoy every meal. Thank you.